Welcome to Shamrock Reddit Stories, Am I the Butthole Edition, where a woman refuses to pay for her sick father's medical bills. Before we get to the first story, let me tell you about an opportunity for you to pull a silly prank on your friends and loved ones. It's actually a fairly apparent attempt to get more subscribers for our channel disguised as a prank. There is a Reddit Stories video that Seamus and I published called Am I the butthole for throwing out my husband's dinner? Right after the first story, a color spiral appears and my voice attempts to hypnotize you into subscribing to my channel. Now we know that it's a cheesy and lame attempt and an entertaining way to get you to subscribe. But our channel is new and we are anxious to get monetized as quickly as possible. And we thought we would try anything. I'm telling you folks in advance about the spiral so that you can turn it into a prank on anyone in the room who doesn't know about it. You could pretend to be hypnotized and follow the instructions given during the so-called hypnotizing part. Just play it subtly. Like maybe after the spiral ends, say something about how lame that was, which would be true. But when the time comes, per the hypnotic suggestion, just follow the suggestions as if it were the most natural thing to do. Of course, you have to be able to pull this off with a straight face. If you have somewhat convinced whomever you are pranking, then continue, per the suggestions, to talk the channel up to others in front of the pranking victim. I know, it's all lame, but if it works to grow our channel, we don't care. Oh yeah. We will be adding this awful shtick to a few other videos from time to time. So if you want to secretly spread the word so your cohorts can participate, the video thumbnails will have a small spiral icon embedded. Thanks, guys. This one's from Throwaway Cat Lover, and it's called, Am I the butthole for choosing my cat over my girlfriend? I'm a 25-year-old female with an 18-year-old cat named Misty. I've had her for most of my life, and she helped me overcome many things, such as my parents' divorce, coming out, my mom's death, and much more. She's precious to me, and I know she doesn't have much time left, so I go out of my way to spoil her every single day. Two years ago, I got into a relationship with my now 27-year-old girlfriend, Kara. Kara knew I was a massive cat fan, and although she didn't share my enthusiasm for cats, she didn't seem to mind it. Last year, I asked Kara to move in with me. I own my own apartment, which I inherited from my mother. It's in a nice location in our town and is close to Kara's job. She agreed and moved in the following month. Half a year after moving in, Kara fell ill out of the blue. She brushed it off at first, saying it's probably nothing, but I convinced her to go see a doctor and have some tests done. The test results came in, and we were shocked to discover that Kara is allergic to cats. Apparently, she was probably mildly allergic to cats all her life, but since she was never exposed to them for a long period of time, it was never discovered. Her being exposed to Misty for over a year is what made her allergies much worse. I've talked with Kara about our plans in the future. I said she could start taking anti-allergy medication, which I said I'll pay for, but she refused, saying she doesn't want to swallow a pill every day so she could keep living at home, which is valid. I then asked her when she's going to move out. Kara looked at me confused, so I explained that since her living with Misty is what causes her health issues, it'll be better for her to move out. Kara started arguing with me, claiming that I'm ridiculous for suggesting she moves out over a cat. I told her I'm not going to rehome Misty under any circumstances, and offered she could move in again after Misty passes away eventually, but until then she'll have to find a different place to live. After arguing some more, Kara left to sleep at her sister's place, and I've been getting calls from mutual friends who caught wind of the situation. Some were sympathetic, while others called me heartless for preferring a dying pet over a living human. I'm very conflicted over this whole situation, although I feel like I'm doing what's right and my request isn't unreasonable, I'm afraid I might be a butthole. 
So, am I the butthole? This is one of those situations where anyone who has had a long-time relationship with a pet, like a dog or cat, that ended with the pet needing love and care at the end of its life, will firmly come down on the side of OP. Many people who have not had that experience or is not a dog or cat lover will not understand OP's position. Seamus and I agree that OP needs to prioritize care for her cat over her relationship with her girlfriend. We think that the resentment that would result from not being able to care for her cat would eventually destroy her relationship with this girlfriend. Then she would feel guilty about not caring for her cat and then feel guilty about ruining the relationship. It's a lose-lose if she gives up the cat. This one's from Human Waste Triple Ot, and it's called, Am I the butthole for not wanting to pay for my so-called father's medical bills? I'm a 29-year-old female whose parents divorced when I was about 10 years old, and I have had no contact with my father after a year from the divorce because he made the choice to prioritize his new family, a 33-year-old stepson, and eventually his children with his new wife, over my brother and I. No visitation after he got remarried at all. When we called to ask when he was going to visit us, he would just say that he was busy. Before the divorce, I was literally daddy's little girl, his beloved golden child. No joke. I thought my father was the best, and I wanted to marry a man just like him when I grew up. So the fact that he just dropped my brother and me off has caused a deep-seated wound in my heart, which I will never, ever forgive him for causing. He never paid child support, so my mother had to support my brother and I as a single parent. She decided not to take him to court, as she never wanted anything to do with him again. The parents had 50-50 custody. However, 18 years is a long time, and thanks to my mother's love and care for us, I have forgotten about him and moved on with my life. Same goes for my brother. We have both grown up to live comfortably in our lives, take care of our mother, and love her to no end. The story here is that this morning, his 33-year-old stepson contacted me via Facebook and said he wanted to talk to me regarding our father. I was confused at first and then remembered that, yes, I had someone like that in my life. He told me that our father has a medical condition and treatment costs a lot and it would be nice if we could pay his bills, and also that my father, quotes, wanted to speak to my brother and me. I told him that man lost the rights to be my father when he decided to not have any contact with us, and also that his father's medical bills are none of my concern, so as his children, you shouldn't go around harassing random people for money. Also, all those years of unpaid child support could be used to cover his medical expenses, after which he called me a vengeful and heartless B-word, to which I just replied with a smiling emoji and blocked his butt. I talked to my mom about this, and she said while I have the right to be angry with him, he is still my father and is unwell, so I could help them out a bit. I told her, no way in heck am I going to pay for his bills. He has his children to pay for it, so let them settle it. He made his bed, now let him sleep on it. Was I the butthole here? We so agree with OP on this one. A sperm donor does not make someone a father, except in the most technical sense of the term. It would have been emotionally better if he had never been in OP's and her brother's life. It's even worse that he was a loving, attentive father for the first 10 years of OP's life and then ghosts her from then on. Then to have the audacity to want to start up a relationship when he is gravely ill, making it all too obvious that he just wants her and her brother to help with the medical bills. Relationship my butt. That's it for this one, folks. And hey, if you like what we're doing here, and we hope that you do, please take the time to click the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. In doing so, you help us with a YouTube algorithm, which in turn helps our channel to grow. Until next time.